Today I'll show you how to install the Drive 4G X RV in your RV. If this task seems daunting at first, don't worry, we make the process simple to follow. Installation can be accomplished easily for most people. This booster works in any type of RV, Class A, Class C, towables, and toy haulers. The same process will apply no matter what type of RV you own. The Drive 4G X RV comes with the Drive 4G X booster, an outside antenna kit, an inside antenna, 20 feet of coax cable for the outside antenna, 13 feet of coax cable for the inside antenna, a 110 volt power supply, a 12 volt hardwire power supply, cable mounts and ties, and a weatherproof cable entry cover. Everything you need to complete a professional installation. Signal boosters work by capturing the cellular signal outside of your RV using the outside antenna. The signal is then passed inside to the signal booster, which amplifies the signal and sends it to the inside antenna, which broadcasts that stronger signal inside your RV. The process is then reversed when you place a call and the booster sends a stronger signal back to the cell tower, keeping you connected. To make installation even easier, we've labeled each step on the individual components of your Drive 4GX RV. Follow these directions step by step and you'll be up and running in no time. We'll follow each step in this video to show you how it's done. To start, remove install box A. This contains components for steps 1, 2, 3, 6, and 8. Step 1, installing the outside antenna. The Drive 4GX comes with an omnidirectional outside antenna, meaning it catches cell signal from 360 degrees around it, so there's no need to aim or point the antenna towards the cell tower. Mount the outside antenna to a pole or ladder so that the entire outside antenna is above the roofline of the RV and clear of any metal obstructions. The higher you can get the antenna, the better. Obstacles like trees and hills block the signal from reaching the antenna, so the higher you can get the antenna, the better the signal you'll receive. Make sure to stay below the max height limit allowed by law in your state. Generally, this is 14 feet in western states and 13 feet 6 inches in eastern states. Here's a quick tip for you. Mount the outside antenna on the driver's side of the RV. Generally, you're less likely to hit overhanging branches or other items on the driver's side. Use the included bracket to attach it securely to the RV. Place the bracket next to a pole or ladder. Slide the U-bolt around the pole and through the bracket, then secure it in place with the washers and nuts. The outside antenna must be mounted vertically. Do not mount your antenna horizontally or at an angle. Some RV ladders tilt in at an angle at the top. Do not mount your antenna here. Doing so will decrease the performance of your booster. Instead, mount the antenna on the opposite side of the ladder if it is vertical, or elsewhere to ensure a proper vertical orientation. If your RV does not have a ladder or pole or vent pipe on the roof, you'll need to create a mounting point for your antenna. We've got links in the description showing examples of how other RVers have installed their antennas. Check out these for some ideas. A simple L bracket and VHB tape can be found at nearly any hardware store and will allow you to mount the antenna in a number of ways. You can mount an L bracket to the side of your RV above the roof line with VHB tape and then attach the antenna to an L bracket. You can also mount the included antenna bracket to the side of an AC unit using VHB tape. Another trick we've seen used to achieve maximum height is to mount the antenna on a telescoping pole attached to the RV. As you travel, the antenna is below the max height limit, but when you get to your location, you can extend the pole and get the antenna high into the air. However you install the outside antenna, ensure that it is above the roofline of the RV and above any obstructions like AC units and ceiling vents. Step 2. Creating a Cable Entry Point Do a soft install first by simply running the cable inside your RV through a window or door and connecting all the components together. After you've tested the system and are happy with the results, you can drill a hole in the exterior of your RV to permanently run the cable. Be sure to stay clear of any power cables and gas vent or water lines in the walls of the RV. You can also run the cable into the RV through existing entry points or through a vent or other opening if available. Step 3. Running the cable into the RV. Connect the RG6 cable to the outside antenna and route it through the rubber ring of the entry cable cover, then into the newly drilled hole or run it through an existing entry point as described in step 2. Now open up install box B containing steps 4, 5, and 7. Step 4. Installing the booster. When deciding where to install the signal booster, you'll need to consider these factors. The booster requires adequate ventilation and needs to be within reach of a source of either 110 volt or 12 volt power. It must also be within reach of both antenna cables. We recommend installing the booster in a cabinet that has a power source inside, if available. With those requirements met, you can secure the signal booster in place by removing the mounting bracket from the back of the booster and securing it to the wall.
then snap the booster back into the bracket. Step 5. Connecting the outside antenna cable. Fasten the end of the outside antenna cable with a smaller SMA connection to the outside antenna port on the booster. Step 6. Securing the outside antenna cable in place. Pull the RG6 cable through the rubber gasket. Then put the cap of the entry cable cover in place with the cable exiting the bottom. Secure the cap in place with the screws. Use the cable mounts and ties to secure the cable to the RV. We recommend putting a loop going up to the cable entry hole to prevent moisture from entering the RV. We strongly recommend using a quality RTV sealant to prevent moisture, insects, and dirt from getting inside your RV. Step 7. Installing the inside antenna. Connect the 13-foot RJ58 cable to the inside antenna port on the booster. Route the cable where you want to receive the boosted signal, then connect the inside antenna. Typically, the antenna will cover up to 10 feet away, so choose an area where you'll be using your cellular device most often. The antenna can simply be placed on a counter or other flat surface. You can also mount it upside down beneath the cabinet to clear up counter space. Just make sure that the antenna is mounted vertically as shown. Mounting the antenna horizontally will decrease the performance of the booster. Also, avoid placing the inside antenna in a cabinet or behind objects. Anything that comes between your phone and the antenna weakens the signal. Since RVs are mobile, you may want to secure the antenna in place. Some double-sided tape or industrial Velcro are easy to find at most hardware stores and keeps your antenna put. The desktop antenna comes with a 3-inch pigtail that easily detaches from the antenna cable, so you can quickly disconnect the antenna and stow it away when you travel. The Drive 4 GX RV is a mobile signal booster. As such, it will work while you drive as well as when you're parked. You can move the inside antenna to different areas of your RV based on your need. Near the cab of your RV when you travel, and then in the dining or living area when it's stationary. Step 8. Powering the booster. Connect the 110 volt wall plug to power and then plug it into the booster. The booster will illuminate the light on the front indicating how it's performing. Green means that everything is working great. Orange means it has cut back its gain due to oscillation and red means it has shut off. If you need more information about lights and how to resolve issues, check out this video. We also include a fused 12 volt hardwire power supply which you can hardwire into your RV's electrical system. Now your Drive 4 GX RV is up and running, providing you with boosted cell signal. Signal boosters use existing cell signal to provide you with improved cell coverage inside of your RV. The coverage area inside of your RV will depend on the available cell signal in the area. A signal booster can't make signal out of nothing. With a very weak signal outside of the RV, you may need to be closer to the inside antenna to stay connected. Whereas, if there is a reasonable amount of signal outside of the RV, the booster will provide coverage up to 10 feet away. I hope this has helped you install your Drive 4 GX RV. If you've got any questions about your installation or need any help, give us a call or check out our support center online. We'd be happy to help you out. Please subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos like this every week. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.